with some work is being done backstage on our first celebrity guest is with us. This guy is one of the great stand-up comedians of all time. He is giving us his time tonight. Everybody say hello to Chris Rock in New York. Hey, Chris. Thanks for hey, being with us. Hey, Jimmy, hey, man, I, I missed you on the Oscars the other night. What happened? <laughs> I miss you on the Oscars even more. <laughs> Did you enjoy the show? I, it was so amazing. And I mean, they, I mean, no one got offended. So that was the key thing that happened, I guess. So. That's right. It's, it, was, it was a barrel of laughs. That's it was sure. a barrel of Laughs. I'm yes, so I'm Chris, this is Mark Rober, and uh, maybe you saw Mark uh, and his son, and uh, we are raising money for autism tonight. What would you be doing tonight? What, like, what's a typical Friday night for Chris Rock? Well, you know, after I come home from rehab, you know, mm -hmm. you know I get here, <laughs> stay home for a couple of days. Uh, I, I don't do much, Jimmy. I'm just, you know. You're not I'm, out work. Working I get out the vaccine. I get the vaccine weekly. I get the oh. Johnson and Johnson. Yeah. You're getting it m more than twice, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get the Johnson and Johnson with chicken McNuggets. So oh, that's, <laughs> that's not a bad idea, actually. Yeah. So, just... Chris, Chris you, uh, you are here, obviously, for the same reason that we are here tonight. And, um, and it's more interesting because we have an audience who might not even know well, they probably know you. They, a lot of them don't know me. A lot of them do know Mark. And um, so for those who are, are confused as to who these people doing this fake talk show are right now, go ahead and explain yourself. Well, you know, uh, you know a, a lot of people probably know me as, you know, a, a stand-up or, you know, an actor sometimes. But the kids know me as Marty the Zebra from... <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that the is... biggest thing I've ever done, <laughs> the biggest thing I ever will do, is be Marty the Zebra, Madagascar. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to auction off a chance for any parent to buy a phone call from Marty the Zebra to their kid. And I'll say anything you want me to say. Uh, any, anybody, I can talk to any kid. I'll talk to any adult. <laughs> so if you want to get a call from Marty the Zebra, send some money, please. Well, who wouldn't want to call from Marty the Zebra? I might don't. I might bid on this one myself. <laughs> well, thank you, Chris. Um, that's you know what? That's a great thing, and uh, of course, kids all love that movie. And I think that would be something that a lot of parents and maybe even some weird adults might be interested in. I'm, I'm sure some freaky adults. And would, if know? an adult wants to speak to the zebra, with that. I would be okay with that. Yes, okay. I would. Okay. I would love. It. What if somebody would like a uh, sex talk from Marty the Zebra? <laughs> Why, well, please? I would love anybody that wanted sex talk from me. Hey, <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> right, let's keep it clean, you two. Yeah, yes, we'll keep on. it very. It's going to be very, very well, clean tonight. <laughs> I, <laughs> but go ahead, Chris. Yeah, I'm sorry, I cut you off there. No, 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 no. Well, we just want to thank you uh, for donating your time and this. Amazing prize, uh, a call from Marty the Zebra That's to incredible. this uh, great cause. And uh, thank you, Chris. Chris Rock, everybody. Thank you. Host the Oscars next year, Jimmy. What's that, Chris? Uh, you, uh, you should uh, host the Oscars next year. I'm sure a lot of people would pay for that. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the next donation. I like it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Chris Rock. You can enter to win a message from Marty the Zebra. If you give $10 or more tonight, just click Donate and then choose Message from Zebra on the donation page when you check out. So, hey, we, oh, by the way, we have not just great comedians and, and great uh, uh, people from the world of acting, etc. We have a very talented musical guest with us tonight. You probably know him from America's Got Talent. The video of his audition performance has almost 65 million views on YouTube. He won season 16 of AGT, and he's with us tonight. Please give a warm welcome to Cody Lee and his mom, Tina. Hi, guys. Hi, Cody. Hi, Tina. Thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you. This is great. Thanks for having us. It's great to have you here. Appreciate it. So Hi, Cody. How are you? I'm good. Excellent. <laughs> Cody, I'm really excited to hear you play. Now, Tina, I spoke with you on the phone, and um, 
you know, sometimes there's a mismatch between, you know, what's going on in Cody's mind and, and what he's saying. Can you kind of speak to us to that? About yeah, um, it's kind of like, he, he takes a little bit longer to process. So like when you ask him a question, he understands what you're asking, but he can't put it, form it together. Cause it's almost like if you think of like a TV, like a cord, and you think there's all these hundreds or thousands of wires that are twisted, some of those might be a little bit broken. So he's trying to like figure out how to, you know, to connect it as a sentence. So that way he can, uh, you know, just you know, give you a sentence back and answer the question. So that's where he kind of, you know, uh, has a little issue with that. I see. How old was Cody when you realized how much talent he had? He was actually two, so he's two years old because his dad played Mary Had a Little Lamb and he just reached over and copied us. So, yeah, so that's when we found out he had talent, but it was actually at age seven is when we went to a specialist and that's when we found out that he was a, like one of 25 in the world, which we found out he was a musical prodigious savant. Amazing, and uh, so talented. And tonight, we're going to spin a wheel. We have a wheel of songs. These are um, songs that um, Cody is willing to perform for us tonight. Guillermo, why don't you give that wheel a spin, and then we will let fate decide what song Cody Lee sings for us tonight. Oh, one of my favorites right there, Tennessee Whiskey. Cody, you know Tennessee Whiskey, right? Heck yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> You're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey. You're as sweet as strawberry wine. You're as warm as glass of brandy. And honey, I stay stone. Your love for the time You're as smooth As Tennessee whiskey Oh, Tennessee whiskey Oh, Tennessee whiskey going to be back to do another song a little later in the show. That was great, Cody. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you. You could stick around with us? Yeah. We'll do a couple more right. songs uh, later from Cody. And I got to say, I've, I've watched those on YouTube quite a bit, but it's something else to be 10 feet away. It is. It is sure is. When Harley reached out to offer this great prize, I graciously offered to be their spokesmodel, but apparently they had someone prettier in mind. Hi, everyone. I'm Jason Lamont. Um, one of the favorite things I love to do in my life is to ride motorcycles. Um, so I have the opportunity to partner up with Harley to donate and give to you for Next for Autism. And it's a uh, Harley Davidson 1250 Pan American. I don't have it here. It's new. It's brand new. It's coming out. So it's a really cool experience that, uh, that Harley's giving away. I, um, I love you, Jimmy. I'm sorry that I couldn't be funny, but I just gave you sexy. Really, really, really sexy. So hopefully that works out. I'll do it there. Not better. So Harley, bikes, yeah. It's all about autism and helping next. Jimmy, I love you, buddy. Aloha. That's a good man. That's Taco a good man. man. Okay, well, now it's time to play a game. And we've invited our friend, YouTuber, podcaster, and tech support king, my buddy, Marquez Brownlee. He's gonna join us here. There hey, Marquez. So Marquez makes amazing videos on the internet. He breaks down the latest tech, and it's just smooth and polished. No one is more buttery smooth than Marquez Brownlee. If you don't know Marquez's videos, go watch them. Not right now, don't watch them right now. Watch them when we're done. But uh, we're gonna play Marquez, cap or no cap, all right? Now, I'm gonna invent something. I had no idea what cap meant. I, I thought it was ask. a thing that goes on your head yeah. uh, before today. Yeah, so cap or no cap. And cap is a lie. Oh, no. Right? Yeah, cap. So you don't know either. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. Oh, I'm cool. Don't <laughs> question. Marquez, cool what does cap mean? <laughs> yeah, help us out. You get, besides, yeah, besides the famous Mark Rober cap, cap would be not true. 
and then no cap would be true. So we're trying to figure out which one is cap that would be which one is the lie. Okay. It, it's, the game is it's just trying to figure out the title of the game so far. <laughs> but So we'll show a bunch of real inventions and a bunch of fake ones. And Marquez, you have to tell if, if, if it's cap, a fake invention, a lie, something we made up, or no cap, a real one. And uh, so Marquez will play. Jimmy and I will play. We legitimately don't know if they're real. And then you guys can play in the comments, and Guillermo will kind of keep us appraised. These are diagrams we're going to see of things, and we have to decide whether they're real inventions or not. I think that's not, right. Yep. Which, by the way, would have been a much better title for this game. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's take a look at our first item. Now, the idea is we decide if this is real, which is no cap, or something made up, which is cap. Cap, yeah. Well, it looks like a branch. Marquez, yeah, what do you think? All I'm really seeing is... I'm not seeing much. I mean, it just looks like a tree that's cut in half. I could see that existing. Yeah, I could see it existing. <laughs> I can't see anyone trying to patent it. Though, it looks right? like a patent drawing, though. Yeah. So, All right. But there's right. some crazy. Is that supposed to be a. Yeah. Go ahead. These are hard. Can I phone a friend? Yeah. There will be. Uh, you know, once we've locked in our answers, there's a there's a, bunch of t there's a couple TikTokers named Party Shirt who oh. do this, called Cap or No Cap, and they're going to weigh in and tell us. But, okay. But first, everyone needs to lock in your answers. Okay. What I'm going to say mm -hmm. that I think it's a not a real thing, so I say Cap. Yeah. What do you say? Let me, let Martin, me, I'm going to, I'm going to side with you. I think this is not a patentable thing. I'm, I'm saying Cap. I, I think you guys underestimate the amount of stupid patents exist in the world, and oh. I think this is absolutely true, which means this is the hardest part of the game, is saying, knowing what to say. Okay. No cap. All right. Well, let's see what... Um... Guillermo, what, what are we seeing, more or less? Uh, I say no cap. No cap. No, but what are the what comments, comments? saying? Oh, Not that we don't care about you, oh, Guillermo. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought you guys cared, but okay. Yeah, no, no. All Remember right. that thing about well, reading the comments? Yeah, yeah, the comments, they say no cap, Jimmy. They say no cap. Okay. Yes. All right, all right. No I'm sure there's some dissension, but... Um, all right, so where are we going to... Let's uh... roll the clip. Yeah, let's find out. No cap. So this one was invented in 1999. The patent was approved in 2002 because, you know, it's so hard to find a good stick these days. Yeah, you know, you could just buy it or walk out your front door and pick one up off the ground. So, your pick. All right, I was right. right. Marquez was right. Mark was yeah. wrong. Wait, no. It was a patent, right? No, we were wrong. Yeah, thank you. I, oh, we were wrong? <laughs> what a dumb game this yeah, is. <laughs> The double negative messes with your head. I know, it's ridiculous. So that's a real thing or that's not? That's a real thing. That's a real patent. Oh, OK. Let's do another okay, one. OK, what's up next? All right. All right. <laughs> All right, so this is what oh. this is like a to pay for deer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can buy, so you, there's headband with moose antlers or deer antlers on them. Yeah. I don't see why that wouldn't exist. That's an easy Halloween costume type thing, right? I'm saying. It's literally a cap, but I'm going to say no cap. Uh, now, listen, I agree with you, Marquez, but why would a deer wear something like that? I mean, <laughs> like, I guess it was trying to masquerade as a male or what? I mean, what would be the reason for that? Wouldn't that go on a human head? Huh. Yeah. I don't That's know. That's a great point. I don't know. You've locked I, in, you know, Marquez. That, no that, switch. That's a really good point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, OK, I locked in. You locked in. But that is yeah. a really good point. What did you say, Marquez? <laughs> I figured it was. You said no cap? I was saying I figured. I said, said uh, I said no cap. Okay, but I, I, I figured. Say, uh, I say no cap. Halloween costume. Mark. I just from a physics standpoint, I don't think that would work. Like the antlers would be heavy and it would fall off. So I don't think that's true. Guillermo, what are the commenters saying? Uh, David say cap. Uh, Catherine say cap. Yeah, uh, they're with me. Everybody say most of them say cap. Give me cap. Yeah, I can't even remember what I chose, but <laughs> let's um, let's go to the guys and find out. Cap. Yeah, guys, so this one was solely for the purpose for deer or whatever bucks that have lost their horns just to give them new horns. That's it. Yeah, it is unfortunately not real. It would make a great Halloween costume. He, they're right, it would. Yeah. That's what I'm I two said. for two. That I bet you I could find those it. on Amazon. All right, all right. So you're two for two. Let's go to the next okay. one. <laughs> all right, so this is some kind of a, what the heck is this? A human-sized turtle okay. shell. Yeah. Now, I guess this could be a costume, right? Although yeah. costumes are probably not part of the game. Marquez, what are you thinking here? Yeah, I was tricked by the last one, thinking it'd be a, it would be a costume, but this one looks it just doesn't it just doesn't look real. I don't really have any good answers. Uh, I'm saying this is cap. 
Yeah. Okay. And how is that guy squatting down? What happened to his <laughs> right. whole lower body? I yeah. mean, where is it? Uh, yeah, it looks like some sort of protective element, like a, a natural turtle. I'm, I'm saying cap. This is. You're saying cap. Yeah. I'll say cap as well. Oh. Marquez, what do you say? You said cap. Yeah. Cap, cap, Guillermo, what do the comments? commenters say? Uh, most of the comments say cap. Wow, nice. unified cap. Let's All see. Right. Roll the answer. Cap. cap. So this one is ridiculous. And honestly, you could think it would be true. Yeah. It worked for the Ninja Turtle, so why can't it work for us? I wish it was. Everyone wants to join the Turtle Club. Oh, wow. Okay. So uh, we're really smart, it turns out. Yeah. Should we do one more? Yeah, let's. our final one, I think, is an actual physical. Oh, it's a physical item. Yeah. Oh, so... what the hell is what? that? <laughs> what do you got, Kier? <laughs> OK, so now we have to decide whether um, somebody made this as a joke or somebody who was crazy made it for real. Yeah. Okay. So, so we've got yeah. roller skates yeah, there. Yeah, roller skates for your hands, basically. Marquez, can you see these? I see it. I'm trying to, I don't think. This is mass produced, but I'm also, I have no problem picturing somebody putting their hands in these and just <laughs> rollerblading around on their hands. I don't know why. I can imagine it too, yeah. Yeah, like uh, Wizard of Oz 2, I think. They're the monkey guys who have like rollerblade hands and legs. I don't know. There's a, a sequel to The Wizard of Oz? Yeah, yeah. Oh. And what if, yeah, you had regular skates on your yeah. feet and you had them on thing yeah. and then you were able to do a handstand and just roller skate however you were. Yeah. yeah. All, All right. right. So the question is, as Marquez pointed, Marquez pointed out, obviously it exists, someone make this, but is it mass produced? Can you buy this? Uh huh. And I think, although it's a great idea, I'm saying cap. I don't think it's, I don't think it's made. I'm gonna say no cap. I think it is made. <laughs> Marquez, Marquez? I'm gonna say I want it to exist. I want it to exist. I'm saying no <laughs> cap. Please exist. Marquez and Guillermo, what are the commenters saying? Most of the comments say cap. Oh, guys, there we go. All right, there we're split. Me. Let's find out what the guys say. Cap. cap. Yes. Guys, this one's yeah. just absolutely absurd. Okay, I'd oh. love to see this in action in real yes. life. Yes. Okay? I can't even roll a skate with my feet, so I'd be lost trying <laughs> with the hands. Right. Exactly. Is it maybe? It's, it maybe we'll prove ourselves to be correct in That's the future true. as those are manufactured <laughs> and we become billionaires. Excellent. All right. Thank you, Marquez. Thanks, Marquez. I think um, uh, you did. I don't remember how you did, but all I know is. We're up to over a million and a half dollars right now, which is yeah. the most important thing. Should we give Congrats, those to guys. Yeah, all right, we're gonna figure that out. <laughs> all right, well, thanks for, to Marquez for joining us, and uh, thanks to whoever made those uh, ridiculous feet hand skates. Oh, I just got word we have a special uh, greeting from our friend whose name is Jack Black. Hey, what's up? It's me, Jack Black. You guys are given to an amazing cause. Next for Autism. And the people at Next for Autism have asked if I would do some ASMR for the charity. And of course I will. But now I'm realizing that I'm super hungry and I'm gonna eat some delicious food at the same time if it's okay with you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy some delicious ASMR with me, Jack Black. Enjoy. You're gonna be relaxed as hell. significance to me because of Kung Fu Panda. I'm Po the Kung Fu Panda and he loved dumplings too.
rock some jello. Oh, that's a good sound. Check it. Sounds like a juicy fart. Oh, you know what goes good with jello. It's like really good content. Don't call me a hero. I'm just a guy doing his part. Dude, it burns. Yep. very nice. Yeah, don't burn a little bit though. Yeah, it feels like I have a million crickets in my head.